I just want you to beware the next time you're plugging your sewing machine in. Don't be standing in a puddle of water. That could give you a real heartburn, you know? <laughs> so. <laughs> What's I, going on I, in your sewing room? <laughs> There's one of those dog. kiddie pools in there or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, my dog. Well, you know, maybe I want to sew outside and you I take it out there because the sun is nice and bright and you get natural light. <laughs> is that so odd? <laughs> That's my safety tip. I had a customer come in and ask about that one, the standing in a puddle of water and plugging in your sewing machine. She wanted to know where that came from and I said, I'm not real sure, but I think it had something to do with her dog. Thanks, Shirley. <laughs> That's what I said, yes. Finding a place to store her and go big. <laughs> there you go, Nina. And putting the two together. Need some there fabric and rulers. There you go. My dog and cat give me a lot of, a lot of hints on these things. So. Uh, you, if you have a cat, watch out because they just <laughs> oh, get into everything. And I, I keep hearing this clicking on the on the floor, on the tile floors, and the cat is down there batting something around, and I can't imagine what it is. And so finally, I found it, and she's got the top to a prescription drug bottle. Uh, I won't tell you which drug it is, but. <laughs> Watch one of your medicines. Too. One of those that, you know, safety tips for. Um, so she's kicking it around the room and I'm going, you know, this could really be dangerous because my husband and I are elderly and we're not real steady on our feet sometimes. And if you step on that little blue cap, you could just go whizzing across the floor. So Skin. watch out what your cat's playing with. That's my safety I think yeah. they're out to get concerned about. I would have thought about where's the bottle and the pills to bring where it came from. It's okay, so I leave it down there for her to play with. She has oh. such fun with it, so yay. Well, you know, I like to work in the yard as much as I like to quilt and I do a better job probably out in the yard, but I evidently got over rambunctious, and so I was pulling things and clipping things, and I haven't, haven't had problems in my yard with poison ivy for quite a while. I thought I had eradicated it. Evidently, down in one of those things, I had reached down in, and I've got poison ivy here, <laughs> I've got poison ivy here, I've got poison ivy here, <laughs> and I've got poison ivy up here. It stops oh, no. there. I'm not going to go anywhere else. <laughs> but just beware of where you're sticking your hands and what you're rubbing afterwards because the doctor tells me you spread it by the oil from the plant and wherever you touch, that's where you get it. And once you wash it with soap and water, doesn't have to be the Clorox thing or anything like that, you get rid of the oil and then it won't spread anymore. Um, I'm not sure that I believe him, <laughs> but that's what prednisone is for, and they make clear calamine lotion now, and it works great. I always have to have a safety tip, and I never know what I'm going to do until I get there. Then I remember that today I finished kind of cleaning my sewing room, which has been a pit for so many. And it just every time I go down there, I think I don't want to sew. <laughs> but now I really do because I can buy things. I can have my husband make labels. Isn't that great? That's awesome. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, so in the process of doing things, I'm throwing things away, you know, papers, and I find these needles and all that stuff. I'm throwing it away. And then I look down at the waste paper basket and I thought, oh my gosh, some of this Hi, is recyclable, Hi, some of it isn't. And I put needles in there. <laughs> so I had to stop and piece by piece take apart my waste paper basket so that my husband wouldn't get stuck by the needles that are in there when he repackages, because he's a packer, repackages trash. So my safety tip is find a different place for your throwaway pins. Don't just throw them in your trash because you might get hurt or someone else. Something you want to step cat. on. Safety tip. Well, this is more of a mental safety tip. <laughs> <laughs> Has nothing to do with sewing on me. But you notice that Sue and I have new hairdos? <laughs> it was sheep shearing day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to a new hairstylist 
unless you have very specific instructions about what you want. <laughs> I was so sick of my hair after this COVID thing and everything. I just went in and I said, cut it off, make it short. I don't want it. Here's a picture. And my first clue that maybe this wasn't going to be a good cut or the relationship wasn't established well <laughs> was when I went with my mask on that I had made. And the first thing she said is, let's Hi, get rid of that thing and let me put <laughs> this on for you. And it was just a paper mask that went over the ears, but it was her attitude. <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of went on through the cut and so I you know she'd say well what about what about and I'd say I want it short I want it short over my ears I want it short in the back and I want it to be kind of uh, you know a little messy looking and I like point cutting instead of cutting so she how short do you want your bangs I said I want my bangs short so she put my bangs down and she went <laughs> that short and I said, well, yeah. I guess so. That'll work. <laughs> you can't put that back on? No, no. Well, the whole thing is so bad. I'll turn around for you, even. It's really choppy and messy. They actually are saying they like it. So maybe this is some style I thing know. going on I for you. I think what it is, so. though, is when I dressed tonight, I was going, I have to face all these wonderful people on Make It So. And how can I do that and look like this, you know, will they even recognize me? <laughs> so the first thing I did was find the biggest earrings I could get to make my hair look longer, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it worked or not, but then I thought maybe that's not enough. I'll put on a necklace, you know, with my diamond solitaire and then I'll put a big gold ring on and, and you know maybe they'll be so busy watching all of that they won't even notice my haircut well I know better than that well, they, so, you're getting a lot of really nice comments that yeah, they you, like your hair so. you're all very sweet and I love you but my mental health was not in good shape <laughs> when I went home from that haircut so do not go into a barber ship shop <laughs> I'm sorry into a barber shop it isn't a barber shop. It's supposed to be a beauty shop, but this was more like ended up a barber shop. I'm pretty sick. Your hair's shorter than my hair. <laughs> said, yeah, yeah, it is kind of. <laughs> There's been some viewers that have had some hair mishaps, and so they had yeah, to, you know. Yeah, it really works yeah, with so. your mind. So make sure you go in with very specific idea of what you want. Pay attention to what they're doing, and give them instruction as you go along. And perhaps you won't go away as disappointed as I was. But the one thing that's my saving grace is my hair grows very fast. And so I'm saying in about three weeks, I'll probably love it. But right now I'm going through mental agony. The so. Sheep Shear Sisters. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. We love you too. <laughs> so how do we send I think the show your off? Hair is longer than ours. I think I, it is. Maybe. Yeah, especially the size. You know you're going to pay, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and you have that, what was, it? you had extra that you put under your nose, right? <laughs> yep, they glued that on, though. <laughs> it was an add-on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> did you have to pay for that, Robert? <laughs> I think I did. I think I'm paying for it now. <laughs> <laughs> you know we love you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, and as always, Make it so!